Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. I'm Eric and we're out here in the orchard next to one of our favorite apple trees. This is our gold rush apple tree. We love this variety because it's one that hangs on the tree really well and it's ready right at the very end of the season to be picked and then actually ripens over a few months after that until February 1st and we only stopped eating it then because we ran out of apples. So we'd love to have more of these, but the problem is we don't have a lot of extra room in our orchard. So within our fence, we can only fit so many trees and I want more of these apples. So today what we're gonna do is show you how I've worked on doing some nurse grafting. So that's when you actually take a, your scion, your material from your existing tree, you graft roots to it, but then you bury that so that the scion will actually push out roots of its own. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm actually grafting some gold rush onto a gold rush seedling. So the hope is really that the tree that I create will be tall enough that I can train it above where deer can reach so that it can be outside of the orchard and in an area that's not protected and still hold on to that fruit that it's grown that way I won't have to worry about that fruit dropping since it hangs so well and I can still harvest all of it at the end of the season and be able to bring that inside and have apples all throughout the winter. So that's our goal is to just make another tree just like this one growing on its own roots and hopefully be a standard size tree that I can train in order to just get a good crop outside of any protections. So the little seedling tree that I've got, we're going to go ahead and dig out from where I had planted it. It got nibbled on by some rabbit or deer a couple different times. And so it's shorter than what it was, but that doesn't matter too much for what we're doing today because we're gonna cut off the top anyway and we'll be burying the entire root stock anyway. Well, that looks like a pretty good healthy root system. Hopefully I didn't disrupt it too much. Let's go ahead and get this grafted real quick and uh, get it planted back in here. So like I said, this had grown to about twice this length and then got snipped off. It regrew, got back up out to the same spot and then something nibbled it away. So this can support a bigger top growth than this. So that's an advantage we've got going for us. A lot of what I've seen is doing a side veneer graft here. So we're gonna cut into this at an angle and I'm wiggling back and forth here so I don't let loose and cut myself. All right, now that I've made my slot in the scion, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the root stock here and cut both sides. And that way we can basically just insert it into that scion and hopefully that'll get us a nice snug connection. Trying to get an idea here of how these line up. And that's pretty hard to tell, but I think I've got it really well lined up on this side, but not so much on this other side. But because of the size difference between the scion and rootstock, I don't think I'm gonna be able to line both up. And uh, wrap this up, just using strips from an old bag. Found these potting soil bags work really well. And this is a very tight fit already, even without any attempt here to have this wrapped already really snug so as long as I've got good placement in there we'll be doing all right and if I didn't get it right we'll probably see all sorts of shoots come up from that root stock now you can do this with other things that aren't compatible so I could even do this with pear and then that would die off in a few years because they're not the same and that would actually be to my advantage if I wanted to only have roots from the original. But that's not something I'm trying to accomplish here. I just want to see if I can get roots to grow. And actually, I don't care where the roots come from as long as there are roots and they're keeping the gold rush on top alive. I like to do the electrical tape after because then it makes, uh, makes it really snug. And also the tape will adhere it all on and uh, also not peel away at the bark later. All right, so I've got it grafted on and uh, hopefully that'll work. And I'm gonna bury it probably somewhere around right here will be the line I'm going for. So a little bit of the top here will be in there. 
uh, as well as the bottom here and, and the root ball here. So, because obviously no group, no uh, roots are going to come out right here where I've got that tape until I remove that. Hopefully we'll see a little bit of growth. Maybe some of these early leaves that'll pop out where these spurs are. Hopefully that'll help it wake up uh, slower and also be pulling in what it needs to heal up below and put out some roots. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this planted. And to plant it, I'm actually mixing in some old play sand that I'm replacing for the kids. And hopefully that will help loosen up the soil a little bit and give some better drainage. And that way we won't rot out the scion, but we keep it moist enough to encourage rooting. All right, so it's now mid-August, and I wanted to update you guys on this project. This is that gold rush that we just grafted back in March, and it actually did push out leaves like I expected it to from those spurs, but then those started to dry up because that connection wasn't really well established yet between the rootstock and the scion. So I went ahead and cut all of those off. There were still plenty of buds for this to push out some new growth. As you can see, it definitely looks a lot better now. It's pushed out plenty of growth. Uh, but for a little while there, I was concerned that I might have actually killed my own project by leaving too much growth. So I snipped it all back in, and you can see it's really pushed out these very large extra limbs on the side here that just go to show that there's definitely a good connection. Those roots are definitely helping. So hopefully here in this fall, whenever it gets to be time to actually do some different transplanting and moving some different plants around, I plan to go ahead and get this out of the ground from here. And I'm gonna bring it to wherever I decide will be its new permanent location uh, for growing it out as a full size tree. And whenever I do that, we'll go ahead and take a look and see how those roots look. So if nothing else, we at least have a successful graft here, and I'm going to have a full-size gold rush tree where the roots are. We'll just have to wait and check that out on the next video. Thanks for watching.